What is up, YouTube? It is yo daddy, Evan Dice, with his boy, Poppy Chulo. Chulo! All right, so today is gonna be the first day we are going to catch a cat head, a flat head, a, fa a pan shovel, a shovel head. We're gonna catch a flat head catfish today. The first one, uh, I'm 100 hours and about 12 overnight trips deep into not catching a flathead catfish, and that's not a testament to how bad I am at fishing. That is a testament to my determination. So tonight, tonight I feel it. The stars have aligned. Uh, got some really good insight and advice from a local guy who was awesome, and he was an uh, old timer. Nice enough to meet us, meet, meet up with us last time, and share his know-how about catching flatheads on this specific body of water. Bait and everything showed us. Literally took us and showed us there is a hole here, there is a hole there, there is another hole. So couldn't be more grateful for him. Uh, awesome times, but I think it's all gonna fall together. Today is the day it finally comes together. I can feel it in my bones. And even if I don't get it, well, I'm just not getting a flathead fish today. Shovel head, flathead, big old dirt catfish, whatever you want to call them. Here we are at the Verde River. Papi Chulo, what you gotta say? Chulo! Yeah, baby! Uh, catching bluegill is gonna be fun enough, honestly. Honestly, bluegill is fun enough. I'm determined, all right? I'm not gonna make this 110 hours. This is gonna be the 100 hour mark where I finally triple digits invested into not catching one of these guys. It's gonna get broken today. Determination through and through. It's a beautiful thing. Let's go. All right, we are really out here up here at uh, Catfish Point. My boy Danny over here. Hello. What's your Instagram handle? Uh, easy Prodigy. AZ Prodestees, I'll put the text right there. He catches a lot of fish. Check out his stuff, he catches a shit ton of fish. Highly effective. Let's go, both trucks down here, let's check it out. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a little bait fish here, I'm on. All right, so right here we got the bait. We got a live bait to catch more live bait. To catch a bigger living creature. If I wanted to be awesome, I would have just caught these crickets myself off the ground, but I bought them from PetSmart. But if you want to be real crazy, catch them yo dang self. And then catch a bluegill and catch a flathead. And you complete the circle of life, essentially. That is admirable. All right, they can definitely climb cardboard. Oh, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. Uh -oh. All right, so I got this cricket on the premises that he was going to earn three to $5,000 a day. But the truth is, there is no job. Get to work. Anything gets that in its mouth, it's gonna get that hook as well. And that's the hard thing about catching bluegills is the hook is always too big. Woo, there we go. They got really tiny mouths, so. Damn. See how long this takes. One, two, three. I see some bubbles. Oh, yeah, there we go. I saw the Oh, whoo! Live action. What we got here? What is this guy? A little catfish. He's bubbling up beneath it. Oh, yeah. He says it's just a fish, dad. The lip ring. There he goes. Yeah, dude, by the skin on his lip, man. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. So I'm talking about bring him on down. Bring him on down. That guy's looking more like dinner than bait. Oh, yeah, they're in the spawn. Ooh, ooh, dude, this is a serious one. Good job, man. Lipping him, bro. Bro, lipping him. Look at that pretty fish, dude. Yeah, buddy. That guy is beautiful. Dang, they look cool. Dude, how beautiful is that, man? That's what I'm talking about. Oh! That's a glow in the dark bobber. I definitely need that bobber back. Oh, that gets deep fast. Well, yeah, you know, sometimes in life, mama has to do something she's not proud of. Nah, man, I didn't blow up the spot at all. 
Well, at least we know how deep it is now. It's pretty damn deep. Got the bluegill killer over here. Tell me what you saw. Carp. How many? Like this deep of water, back sticking out. Oh, I've been waiting all my life. And all of a sudden, it's just like. Oh, yeah, it's just a gang. Oh, oh yeah. A carp. Bang. Watch this call right now. Blowing it up. Oh man, how beautiful is this? Ah, to the carp spawn. Let's see it. Let's see it. Homeboy says more than enough opportunity to bow fish them. Says he's seeing them in one foot of water, back sticking up. I've been waiting for this. How beautiful is this? Not as good as the tropics, but by Phoenix standards, I'm living it right now. Whew, beautiful. Nobody needs antidepressants. They just need to go the outside, get some vitamin D on that skin and just relax. About to start writing sad homies prescriptions for a little sunlight and fishing. I ought to. Where are they at? I'm looking for their backs. I'm looking for them splashing up on the sides. I see some backs, but they're not carp. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Like I said, by Arizona standards, we're living right now. Okay. Saying I can see their backs. Have I been told not the truth? Where are you? I am coming for you. Oh, it's weird. Oh, look at as car friends. Oh, this is shallow. And I ain't seen a single car back. Spawn car. Oh. I just wanted to see sexy back and I saw nothing and I paid all this money for these tickets and now and my friends don't think I'm cool. These fish. I think the problem is I don't have the glasses. I see that now. Damn. You gotta need a license for that thing. I wish I could see the back of the carp so I could slap him for being a dirty fish. I said, hello, it's Daddy Dykes, and here's a slap for a dirty fish. Did you comb the desert? I didn't see. He combed the desert. We've been jammed. I didn't see. All right, this is it for the bait spot. How many did you get? Five or six in about an hour. Not too bad. That, my friends. How are you doing? Good for now. It ain't right, but it's close enough. There ain't no water. Want to hit that unlock button? How you want? Hey. I reached my hand out because I thought you were getting it from me. Oh, you I broke my heart.
get rain often, so when we do, it's a party. Oh, I'm getting lit up. We need our water, so when it rains, it is a celebration out here in the Arizona Sonoran Desert. I just well no you have such a strong berm right here Definitely in Arizona, flash floods are a thing heavily here. It's so dry and a lot of like the activity where we want to go is on a riverbed anyway. So then when it rains, of course it flash floods. I don't know how many inches of rain we got, but uh, definitely it's starting to pile up water. This is the main road. So the roads down there would have been absolutely trash. Gonna wait for it to clear up. Looks like clear skies behind us. That's our bipolar weather we got over here. There she blows, throwing fast it over us. Oh! Looks like it's passing over. That's commitment. We're yeah, gonna yeah, catch yeah. a goddamn flathead tonight, and I know it. We're going down there. Woo! Committed. Spoiler alert, if you have yet to realize it, uh, we did not catch a, a flathead catfish last night, but I am glad we got out of there when we did, because this storm was absolutely insane back at my house. Uh, it was gonna get really bad down there in the in the wash. You do not wanna be down there in the wash, so. I'm man, you know, real man admits, uh, they admit when they're wrong, all right? So uh, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count last night as a loss, okay? Because of God. A real man knows when to admit he's wrong. So uh, I'm gonna call it a draw. That was a tie. Call that a tie, Mother Nature. I didn't lose. We tied up, but my house got absolutely wadded. I am glad it was not in the wash. Yeah, it blew. It definitely blew my roof off. Not that big of a deal, all right? Not that bad of a thing until it flies off. I forgot where the roof went. It totally smashed my, God, that's not good. It smashed my truck and broke my window. Yeah, my neighbor's house, there's like four roofs down on my street, but damn, it did not, did not uh, make it where it should have. 